Samsung losing sales as demand for smartphones and smartphone chips drops. So this morning I read an article by the BBC that stated that Samsung uh, is losing money this quarter. I guess people are not getting as many phones as Samsung hoped for. Maybe the planned obsolescence thing is not working out very well for them. Maybe they're making their phones too well. The phones last too long. People don't buy new phones because they don't need to. The ones that they do have last for quite some time. Maybe that's the reason why. Whatever the reason is, the report is that they're losing sales, losing money. But what I've discovered is a interesting perception that many Koreans seem to have here uh, about uh, competing kind of competing companies, about foreign companies coming into South Korea. And this comes on the on the heels of the the Uber or Kakao carpool taxi situation. Just the other day, I had a discussion with one of my students, and we we started talking about. Um, uh, Apple and Apple phones and products and it was the students perception that um, Apple has been ignoring South Korea for the past five years or so uh, she made a point of saying that uh, Apple opened the first uh, store in China in about 2012 or something and uh, where stores opened up in Japan and Taiwan but in Korea, uh, the store was opened up only a couple of years ago. Um, I can't remember the exact date, 2014 or 2018. But it was, uh, in any case, it was much later, much later than the stores that were opened in, uh, in the other uh, neighboring countries. And so it seemed that many Koreans had the perception that uh, Apple was ignoring them. Um, which seems to me like a bit of a naive attitude to have um, you know especially in a country that's so technologically driven uh, has some of the best internet connections in the world um, it would be strange to think that a company like Apple um, who sells you know computer chips and computer products or electronics would choose to ignore a country like South Korea and I brought out the point that uh, perhaps it's, you know, the competitive nature of South Korean companies that's preventing uh, Apple from establishing itself here. Um, and this seemed to be a bit of a new way of looking at things to that particular person. But it is representative of a larger, uh, the, the idea that comp uh, competing companies from outside are choosing not to come to Korea because I don't know, they don't like Korea, or whatever the reason is. So, whatever the information is spread in the news, it definitely does not say um, the things that you know large companies like Hyundai and Samsung are doing, or the government is doing, in order to prevent international companies from penetrating the market in South Korea. And it seems that uh, a lot of people hold the, uh, the, the, have the perception that um, <coughs> companies like Apple simply choose not to uh, include South Korea in their sales schemes which is clearly false so I brought up the point that uh, you know imagine Samsung one of the uh, world's largest uh, phone producers phone manufacturers and a direct comp competitor to, uh, to Apple um, is this company is located in South Korea and, and imagine if you were the owner of that company would you be so willy-nilly to let uh, another competitor enter a market that you've been dominating for so many years and just you know start pushing their sales clearly you would expect to for, uh, you would expect your sales to begin dropping which would be a concern and which would be something that you would try to avoid at all cost or at least postpone for as long as you possibly could. Monopoly is good for any company, in any business, in any situation, so why would uh, Samsung try to do it any differently, right? This seems to be a similar perception people hold about the taxi drivers. Um, oh, going back to 
to the taxi drivers again it's the same situation large companies in South Korea and that hold sway uh, and basically a monopoly over the economy here and you know how people uh, interact with the environment so if you have four large taxi companies and there's another company that's trying to um, to enter the market obviously these two these companies will will fear uh, losing um, losing money and in our conversation I discovered that taxi companies are actually privately owned companies in, in South Korea I'm not sure if they are um, subsidized by the government if they are then um, I don't know if many people know about that but uh, anyway it's Monday today it's back to work um, uh, Molly's back to school vacation time is over for her she was a bit sluggish and getting up this morning but uh, she managed, we managed to get out of the house on time and she went to school on time, which is fantastic. It's a good start to, to her post-vacation uh, school time. And uh, it's a nippy day today. Uh, we've got a meeting this Friday with uh, our investor um, and uh, we're hoping to roll out a Shane School pretty soon. I hope this Friday meeting will go well, provided that everything goes well. We should be seeing another Shane School soon fantastic news um, and in addition today is Monday which means that our Hagwon podcast um, with David Tulip will be taking place tonight um, it will appear in its regular uh, flip screen format unfortunately I haven't had the chance to to uh, uh, examine uh, any possibilities of having the podcast split screen just yet so we're still in the same old format um, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's a uh, in the works. Sound and lighting and uh, everything will be coming for now. For the time being, um, uh, we're just two guys sharing ideas and discussing things. So I hope you can join us, and I hope to see you then. Ripped the father out.